Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Of course, uh, the Canucks are the talk of the town right now. And our next guest has played a huge role in uh, capturing some of the history of our franchise. Absolutely. You know, the Roger Nielsen statue is out front of the arena now. And we have the artist, Norm Williams, joining us, creator of the said statue. How are you? Hi, Norm. How's it going? So first of all, you have to introduce us uh, yeah. to your little <laughs> friend. <laughs> okay. Well, that was the final, uh, the final sketch uh, of Roger before he uh, was actually right. put onto the... Cast onto in the bronze. Stage. And tell us the oh, story yeah. of the jersey here, that, which is signed by some legendary well, people. Well, I brought it with me at, uh, to the game, and, or to the unveiling, and I, I was given a seat in, in the game, and uh, I, it took so long to get into the stadium that I thought, ah, I missed my chance to get these guys to sign it. And I said, that's the only, only downside of the whole thing. And then after the first period, I felt a tap on my shoulder come with me and upstairs to their room and I spent the between first and second period and half of the second period uh, talking to all the old Ron Delore, uh, Stan Smeal, Harold Snaps. I mean yeah. for a guy who is uh, well and maybe this is where we should start I mean you are a hockey fan uh, and that's really sort of part of how you got this commission isn't it? Oh yeah I I figured out pretty f quickly that that there would be a lot of people uh, uh, wanting the wanting the gig and and uh, would be very qualified so rather than ramble on about my qualifications I kind of condensed that into a sentence or, or two <laughs> and then talked about hockey <laughs> and then talked about hockey exactly <laughs> now the Roger Nielsen <laughs> moment that's commemorated in yeah, the statue is is such a piece of history how do you remember that oh I I was watching the game I watch all the games but uh, I, I remember it so clearly it was just a um, I'm not sure. Anyway, it was game in the second round, and it was against uh, Chicago, and uh, they were getting some <laughs> dubious calls or no calls, <laughs> <laughs> and and Roger wanted to uh, um, convey his his disappointment while he was not a guy to scream and yell or say bad things. So a very quiet and religious guy, and he. Uh, just casually put this <laughs> got thrown out. out of the game for his troubles. Oh, yeah. But it they, became this iconic thing and, and really sparked a, uh, you know, a fan uh, movement and tradition in stadiums not only in Vancouver but uh, oh. across sports and around oh, the world. Oh yeah, World Cup soccer yeah. and last, last year. And All the fans towels. were wa waving their towels. Uh, yeah. Obviously you knew a little bit about uh, you know, the, the sort of historical moment that you were trying to capture uh, through the statue but uh, there's some really interesting stories around how you actually researched the likeness of uh, Mr. Oh. Nielsen and, and to get that moment right as well. Yeah, that was the hard part because there was uh, um, sort of publicity photographs of him, you know, but that's all s straight on and smiling and waving kind of thing, or occasional grainy ones that were taken during the game. And to get the kind of detail that I need, it just wasn't there. I, I couldn't find him anyway. Yeah. And I tried real hard. <laughs> and because he was always behind the bench, there were no pictures of his feet. So how oh, did you figure out yeah, what kind of shoes, shoes he wore? The shoes were. I just, I just thought I just read everything I could about him, and uh, and of course I remember him so well. But uh, he, uh, I just figured he wasn't a Doc Martin Gucci kind of guy. So yeah. I kind of went for the hush puppies, and the guy said, "I know just the, uh, just the pair of shoes." I <laughs> thought. He was an older guy, and he had these uh, sort of high-end hush puppies, and I, I kind of copied those. And used those for Rogers. Yeah, yeah, but a funny part was somebody at the unveiling came by, and he said, I knew Roger for for uh, for 30 years. And he says, boy, you got him right down to the hush puppies. Oh, my so God. <laughs> was really... And tell us about the hockey stick, because, of course, uh, you wanted to make it as oh, real yeah. as possible. Yeah. yeah, you can't have a left-handed hockey stick if it's Jim Nils, because yeah. he's right-handed. So I first got a hold of that, but... I. I a friend of mine is curator of the Sports Hall of Fame uh, here, uh, the BC Sports Hall of Fame, and uh, Jason Beck, and um, he recommended me for the P for the, doing the piece. So yeah. I, I owe him a, a great deal of. And he respect. actually provided you but with. But he, the stick. yeah, he says I know a guy who's got the stick. Wow! <laughs> so we we got a hold of it, and uh, yeah, so and real deal. A collector of other How was that moment for you? I mean, uh, you know, as an artist, as a hockey fan, uh, you know, as a as a longtime Canuck fan, that unveiling and and 
you know, it really did resonate with, I think, fans in the city that have followed the Canucks for so long. Cause it was such an iconic moment. Uh, what was that like for you when it was unveiled and you saw the uh, fan reaction? It was awesome. I, I mean, first of all, just if you're a real hockey fan, just the night I had going up to there. <laughs> yeah, get, hanging out with Steamer Smeal and was, Snapsy. That was awesome. But, you know, when it's it's your work, uh, you spend a year doing it, uh, it's, yeah. it's really it's really neat. To How see does it make you feel pressure. knowing that it's going to be there as a yeah. piece of history and how much people do love it and future generations will see it as well? Well, it'll feel a lot better once they win the Stanley Cup this year. <laughs> <laughs> we have actually, this has become a bit of a tradition, uh, I think, already for fans. Uh, mm. This has become uh, a lucky icon, mm -hmm. I, I think, for uh, for people that follow like the team. Like rubbing the Buddha's belly. And this is yeah. just, <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, this photo, first of all, is amazing. But, I mean, this kind of shows what it's become for fans. As yeah, well. that's, that was so cool. I heard there was a, a statue outside a, a casino and people rub it for good luck. And in time, they rub right through it. Right. So you never know. Yeah. Bronze hopefully holds up quite well. There. It does hold up well, yes. <laughs> and but, Mike uh, asked you in the green room if any of Roger Nielsen's family were there. What's the story behind that? No, he, he uh, it was just him and his sister, neither of them married, and they're both gone now, and no, yeah. no kids. Uh, I gather he's got some distant cousins, but yeah. um, But what a way a to commemorate him. Yeah, I was going to say in a way that yeah. almost adds some depth it to the story, really right? It was really neat. A, a lady came up and she was um, really appreciative afterwards and uh, and I I didn't get who she was unfortunately I'd really like to know but she uh, she said boy you really got him and that was that felt so, that good. so that was nice moment. well congratulations and yeah, Tiger Williams was the same he and, and he's uh, a guy who will tell you if he oh yeah if he like didn't something. like it I would know about it <laughs> what did Tiger but say he he liked it he said I got him and and he liked the piece and he liked the, the yeah. The fact that I'd put a lot of into it. And, and he and Roger Nielsen were very, very close yeah, friends he said, as well. Yeah, he said Roger was my best friend for 30 years. Yeah. That's so what a, what a compliment to you and yeah. what you managed to capture. Norm, yeah. thank you so much for... And Norm uh, got to get his picture with the green men. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> going along. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your time today and, uh, and just a great job on it. And if you're going to the Canucks game, why not uh, touch the foot for luck hey, as you're going in? It's and, been yeah. good luck thus happens. far. Has I it hope ever. it continues. <laughs>